Hey guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to a new video. So don't mind the natural hair. I haven't really been straightening it because I'm kind of in the process of packing while filming this. So by the time this is up, I'm already in a different country. But as planned, I wanted to do my September favorites for you guys. And I know I've been, you know, showing pretty much the same products because I haven't really been changing much, but I think, you know, this month is going to be a little bit different. I have quite a few empties, especially when it comes to skincare, so let's get started. Let's make this really quick. Um, oh gosh. So the first product, this is actually an empty. It's the Cosrx Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser. This is officially a skincare product or a cleanser in particular that I will be sticking to for a very long time. I've made several favorite videos with this feature so it really does mean a lot and it's been a good year now since I've been using this product yeah i'm like really content with this so this is really going to be part of my routine for some time um until who knows i find a better cleanser but really for now this good morning gel cleanser has been my go-to and i don't know i just really like the way it cleanses and the way it feels after being cleansed the texture of my skin just feels so smooth that it's crazy but you know my skin reacts to it nicely and it's adapted to it so you know it's really a staple skincare product in my routine now so next here we have the refresh water by Hamish I only had a little bit left in here but I decided to put it in this little um, seal bag with some cotton pads in it to saturate it for my on-flight pouch this is just really hydrating and you know being in an airplane um, your skin can get really dehydrated this is also another favorite I do talk about it quite a lot really with this product I just like it because you can do so much with it it's called a refresh water but it's also a very natural gentle toner as well you can also use it as a micellar water where you could remove pretty much all your makeup by itself besides really waterproof mascara and um, eyeliner it's a little bit tough but um, overall it does remove quite a lot and whenever I didn't have my cleansing balm from Hamish I would use this and it just works great and it never really broke me out it really cleanses well and it's very hydrating I will definitely repurchase another bottle when I come back so you know this is something that I really need in my skincare collection I guess third product is another toner and a review of this will be up soon it's the Etude House Sunjung pH 5.5 relief toner this is another empty that was well used i started to really enjoy this early this year and i kept using it and um honestly i don't really want to talk about it too much here because the review will be up by the time you see this so stay tuned for that because i will go into it quite detailed i really really enjoy this but i'm currently using a different toner right now so i'm trying really hard not to you know overdo my my skin with toners but this is really something that I will definitely go back to, especially during the winter time. Yeah, so that's that for now. So the fourth product is another empties once again. This is the Cosrx Oil Free Ultra Moisturizing Lotion with Birch Sap. I don't know how many times I feature this in my favorites. It's actually really hard to get the rest of the remaining um, lotion. I've been like tapping the bottle and doing as much as I can to get really every single product out but this is the best I can do I've been trying the Benton Cacao Moist and Melt Cream in between just to kind of transition my skin to get used to this lotion but it's not really accepting it my skin's been reacting to it but it hasn't been breaking out I just started getting physical bumps around my face from using this lotion so it just shows that for the past 
year, my skin has been well adapted to this lotion. For me, I personally enjoy this lotion a lot more. It's very lightweight, very quick in absorbing into the skin, and just very easy while trying out other moisturizers. This feels a lot more better in my personal preference. This, along with the toner that I've been using, has been working great as a combo, so I kind of figured out, you know, a few products that I should keep as my skincare routine and this is definitely one of them, so I have to really repurchase another bottle. I know the lighting is changing, let's just ignore it as usual, but um, the last skincare product is something that I recently received. This is the Dear Claire Soft Airy UV Essence everyday sun protector and so far i've been enjoying this i used it for a good week almost two weeks by the time this video is out and um i'll probably do an update you might see it in another favorites so on to makeup now the first product is the moonshot face perfection balm cushion and I've never really featured this in my channel until now and I've had this for like over a year so this cushion is something that I have been reaching out for lately this past month while refilming the cushion review video I just remembered how much I actually really like this cushion and it was such a waste that I never reviewed it when I first got it because I was really excited for this product but then after trying it, I wasn't really too impressed like I was like a little bit iffy about this product but you know while using it a few times and later in the year I just really like this product and it just gives a really good finish onto the skin it's just the overall finish of it that I enjoy the most so the second product is the Aritone Pore Master Sebum Control Pack in number one white I did really favor the appeal powder fixer the 24 7 lasting finish powder which i still have to really use up but this ever since i got this like two months ago i think from the yesta haul i've been enjoying this a lot and the powder itself just really makes the appearance of your skin look very even and it doesn't really emphasize any skin texture whatsoever so it makes your skin look quite poreless and I enjoy that because you know it's nice to just have your skin look quite even and the way it makes the makeup set and last longer is great so I have been using this pretty much on a daily for setting my entire face and um, this powder has been doing really good for me next is an eyeshadow I haven't really use this on my channel often i use it off camera but this is the misha triple eyeshadow in number 13 lady milk tea and this was like from an old yesta haul other than a shadow i've been using this more as a blusher and i know it sounds crazy but it has a very warm um kind of pink brown hue to it so it works great as a blush on my skin it works great as a blush for the entire month this has been my blush and um, it just works great and you can actually use each individual color as well for your eyes so it's kind of like a multi-purpose kind of eyeshadow product the fourth product is not a korean branded product i figured that i would include this because i've been using this pretty much almost on a daily for the past month it's from Maybelline it's the Curvitude Liner Tracer I think that's what it's called I've kind of gotten back into eyeliner because it is a curved kind of bent packaging the way you hold it and draw the line is a lot quicker and easier and the brush is actually a felt tip which I personally prefer I feel like brush tips tend to be a little bit difficult for me to use because the bristles can separate every now and then so 
I've been enjoying this a lot. And finally, on to the last product for makeup. This is the Peri Para Peri's Ink Velvet in the shade number 7. I forgot what the English shade name was, but this is a shade that I keep forgetting that I have. And then I end up liking it again because it's a really nice pink. On camera, it looks like a dry rose. On my lips, it tends to appear quite more pink. Um, and I don't really use pink lip products that often. So this is like my go-to pink lip shade. Very long lasting and staining as well. So um, it's good for very easy. <laughs> I won't even rub off anymore. Um, it's good for an easy low maintenance makeup. We're actually done with this entire favorites video for September. September empties slash favorites. So, um, again, I don't think it may have been too interesting for you guys, but um, I feel very accomplished now that majority of my skincare products have been completely emptied out and used so I'm starting to really settle down on a few products and I'm finally starting to have my own proper skincare routine where I will use the same consistent skincare products um, so by then that's when I'll do an updated skincare video but you know I'm getting there so I'm happy um, as for makeup, I guess it's a little bit different from the usual favorites, but um, yeah, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe. That would mean so much to me. Although I don't really say it as much, I'm very thankful for, you know, positive feedback. So very thankful for that. And since I'm currently in a different country while you guys are watching this, you know, stay tuned for the next few scheduled videos and then I'll be back later in the month so um yeah i guess i'll see you guys then until i'm really back and you know hopefully i'll have more content that'll be more interesting for you guys and um i'll see you guys soon bye